Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to make a section on your website stay with the user as they scroll down. And let me go ahead and demonstrate. So as I'm scrolling down everything stays normal, but when I get to a certain point this menu over here stays with the user as they scroll down. This is great for sidebars, menus, um, basically anything that you can think of and it's not limited to just things on the side over here we can go ahead and do the same thing for this section where we go ahead and scroll and then that top part sticks with as they scroll down so let's go ahead and get right into it right now we have this section on our site let me just go ahead and open this up in a new page this gray part is the part i want to follow the user as they scroll down on this section. Now this site is just a, a development site to where I do all of my custom testing, so there's no content on this page, but as you can see, um, this is what we will go ahead and try to accomplish today. I'm gonna go ahead and make this gray part follow the user. So let's go ahead and install a new plugin. And we're gonna go ahead and search the repository for sticky anything on scroll. Now when we go ahead and do that, it's gonna be this first one right here. We're gonna go ahead and click install now. And once that is done installing, we're gonna go ahead and activate it. Let's activate. Once this is activated, we're gonna go ahead and go to the settings and hit sticky anything. So what this page is going to be doing, it's gonna ask you to type in a class or an ID, as you can see here that you want to stick as the user scrolls down. So right now, just so I can keep it consistent, let's just do sticky. And if you want it to be a class, put the period in front. If you want it to be an ID, put the hashtag in front or the pound sign. So it's gonna ask you the space between the top of the page and the sticky element, and it's optional. So if you don't want it to be directly on top, maybe if you want it to be down a little bit, you can put 20 pixels or 100 pixels. I'm just going to leave it blank. Uh, let's see, it wants to know if you wanted to check for the admin toolbar. So it wants you to move the sticky element down a little if there's an administration toolbar, which I would say yes. Um, do not stick element when the screen is smaller than a blank. And do not stick element when the screen is larger than blank. So if you don't want this to work on mobile, I would suggest typing in 979. And that's basically for any size, smaller tablets and down. Um, and then if you want it to not, if you only want it to stick on smaller, uh, phones or devices, this is where you would type in maybe 979 and then anything bigger than that, it won't work. So let's go ahead and I don't want this to work on screen smaller than 979 pixels. Let's go ahead and hit save. Once we hit save, we have the advanced settings and we have the uh, like a troubleshooting tab. So the advanced settings, you really don't need to worry about anything like this. Um, you can always just keep all of this blank. We're just really going to be worried about the basic settings. So right now we want to remember that we did the class of sticky. So let's go back to our page here. And we're going to go ahead and apply this whole entire bar to have a class of sticky. Okay. Now the preview is not going to show it sticking, but once you hit save and open this up in a new page, you're going to see that that now sticks and will follow the user all the way down the page until they get back up to the top. Okay. And since we asked for it to check for the admin bar, it sticks right below that admin bar. If not, it would be about 20 or so pixels tall. So there we have it. We just added a very easy way to have a message or a menu or just a section stick to the top of the page when you scroll. And this is basically the same as a sticky header, uh, but it's just for a section inside of your content. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it to get notifications of every time we're uploading new videos. We're going to be more uploading more videos um, throughout the week, and this is 
the second video in our series of featured plugins that we're going to be uploading. So we're hoping that you are enjoying these videos of some plugins that we found that we know that are useful of your site, no matter um, what theme you're using. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you.